Well, hello and welcome to the 2022 Heart of America Athletic Conference Football Media Day. We are really excited to have Mid-American Nazarene University uh, join us today. So thank you so much for being here, guys. Um, let's first off hear from the student athletes. Um, let's go with, start with Caleb. Uh, name, year, and hometown. Uh, I'm graduating in 2024 and I'm from Kansas City, Missouri. Awesome. Go ahead, uh, Trey Matt. Go ahead with your name, year, and hometown. My name is Trey Matt Pleasure. I'm from uh, Lansing, Kansas, and I am a senior. Okay, Coach, go ahead and introduce yourself, uh, name, and how many years you've been head coach there? Uh, coach Paul Hansen, and uh, I'm about to start my third year here at Mid America, my third season, and uh, excited for the season. Coach, let's start with you. Um, go ahead and uh, tell us a little bit about these two student athletes with you. You know how proud you are that that they're pioneers, and and uh, just give us a little info on them. Yeah, you know, I, I think it was it was hard trying to pick a couple of guys to bring to this, and uh, start with Trey Matt here. You know, he was here when I got the job two years ago, and he's just a great, great kid, great leader on and off the field. Uh, you know, he's uh, he was part of the, he was on the president's uh, list uh, this last spring for academics, and uh, Ever since I've been here, he, he's done that. So he's just been a good vocal leader. He was uh, second in tackles uh, this last season as well uh, for us. And uh, we've asked Trey Matt to do a lot of different things for us. And so he's done that on and off the field. Uh, we have Caleb Tannis. Uh, he came in with me two years ago uh, when I got the job. And uh, he, his first year, he was, uh, you know, newcomer of the conference. And his last year, he followed up with the All-American season. And so... Uh, and he was on the dean's list this last spring. So both uh, we, we we want to be both in, uh, you know, football players, uh, and then also uh, in the classroom we want to be good as well. So have great 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 players here, and uh, really excited about it. Now, thank you, Coach. Let's start with Caleb. Caleb, um, tell us a little bit about you know some goals you have personally for this upcoming year and and for the team overall. Um, so for the team, I think that it's really reachable being. Uh, playoff caliber team we've all bought into the program and that's our main focus and individually I don't really like to focus on myself too much I really want to focus on this team because we're bringing in a lot of pieces and I really want us to just win this year Trey Matt same question for you you know what are some goals for for you and the team this year uh individually I just want to be more of a vocal leader you know lead by example you know uh bring along anybody I can to be the best person they can be on and off the field and for the team, I just want us to be, you know, consistent and, you know, doing, make, reaching our goals and being the best people we can be, like I said, on and off the field. Coach, your, you know, camp opens up soon. You have practice starting uh, just in a couple of days. Uh, what do you hope to see from your squad as, as things get, get started? Yeah, you know, I think uh, it's, you know, we have eight returning starters on offense and we have seven on defense. And, we have uh, all areas of our kicking game back. So I think during camp, like like Trey Matt said, we just got to be consistent. You know, we want to be, we want to play complimentary football um, from offense to defense to special teams. And, and uh, we have some good pieces coming in as well that that's joined our team from last year. So um, I think getting those guys uh, in the right spot and, and limiting the mistakes that they could have uh, to get ready to play pretty fast here, August 27th. And uh and just in, and come closer as a team, you know, camp's a great time for that. Um, you see that in the NFL still today that, you know, some, some NFL teams still are going to college campuses and, and that's the time to do that, uh, to come closer to the team uh, during camp. And coach, you, you all had some exciting news recently about the addition of a stadium, you know, on campus and things like that. Talk about the facilities upcoming and, and your excitement level with that. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, it's, it's a great, time to be here at mid-america we just got uh we're, we're kind of the final stages of of uh you know getting ready to start digging here on campus for a brand new stadium it's going to be right here off the back of the cook center and uh you know we just opened up this last year a 22 million dollar facility in the cunningham center and so now we're just have that momentum and uh our, our guys are really excited about this new stadium uh getting to play in it here in the next two years and uh so now, now it's it's our time as a as a team to continue to put a good product on the field this next year and um, allow the Mid America community to get excited about that. And uh, so it's it's going to be really good. Caleb, you know, as your um, your career has progressed, you've obviously had some, a lot of success and things. Um, last year there was a, a record setting game. You know, you participated in with yards and touchdowns, things like that. You know, what was that experience like to be able to be a part of NAI history in a game? 
it means a lot to me. I mean, I work so hard for this stuff and practice and throughout the week. So to get rewarded with that on, on a Saturday, it means it means a lot to me. And it also meant a lot being able to celebrate with all my teammates because they were all just encouraging me throughout the game and after the game as well. Trey, Matt, uh, let's learn a little bit about yourself. Um, you know, you're, you're uh, obviously with the program, had a great year last year. Um, you know, what do you hope to see from your squad this year? And, and um, you talked about being a vocal leader. You know, how, what are some things that you'll have to do to, to become more of a leader? Um, personally, it's just, you know, getting my, my comfort zone, you know, not really saying any things, not really speaking up when I need to, and, you know, letting my guys know that, you know, that's not acceptable. Or, you know, just doing, like, little things that, you know, tie into being, you know, a good team, you know, good, you know, defensive squad on the defensive side of the ball and just really just, like I said, leading by example and, you know, being able to hold, hold my teammates accountable to, you know, play to, the, play to their best ability. Back to you, Trey Matt. Um, you know, what does it mean to you to put on that MNU uniform each Saturday and, you know, hit the field with your teammates? You know, what, what, what sense of pride does that give you to, to play for Mid-America? It's a blessing. It's a blessing to, you know, hit that field every Saturday, go out there, play with my brothers, you know, put my life on the line and just give it my all. Caleb, same for you. You know, what does it mean to you to, to put on that uniform and, and, and play for Mid America? Like he said, it's a blessing. Like you get, you only a certain amount of people get to play at college level. So just having the opportunity to play in front of fans and your family on any given Saturday is just a blessing. Coach, you, you kick off with Graceland um, really just a few days, right? Just a few weeks. Um, how excited are you and your staff for this opportunity? And what will it take to get ready for, for week one? Yeah, you know, I think uh, I think just overall as a team, we got we got to take it game by game, and they're the first team that we get to play this year. And so, um, I have, they have a new head coach, Coach Ross. He's a great guy, great coach, and he'll have that team ready to go. And so, um, we'll have to do our part during camp to make sure that we're playing consistent football, like I like I talked about earlier, and and uh, and limit the mistakes. You know, early on in the season. Uh, you know, teams are still trying to figure out who they are a little bit on the offensive side. And a lot of times defense is ahead. And so um, we just got to limit that a little bit and, and play good football early on. I'm excited about it um, being our, our first home game during the season. So the fans will be excited about it. And uh, so it's, it's going to be really good. And coach, as you progress as a head coach, you know, as you further along with the program, um, you know, what do you hope to see from your team in, in this next year as head coach? And, you know, what, um, you, know, you know, what are the steps you hope you see the program take this year? Yeah, I think I think as we're, I think this is a big year for us as a program. Um, I think I think we only had like eight or nine guys um, on our team that were here when I got the job. And so now we're kind of taking that next step now of of, of, of being a program that that's that's building um, from the bottom up and doing things right and, and also putting good a good product on the field. I think that's really important. And so I'm um, having these two guys here is really important. You know, uh, Caleb's from here in Kansas City, uh, you know, Trey Matt's from here in Lansing. And I'm from Kansas City. And so like doing that here local and then just getting good players to fit our culture. And uh, I really like the direction we're going and uh, I'm really excited about this season. Uh, Trey, Matt, what is your major and uh, what are some career aspirations you have if even life after football? My major is kinesiology and I want to be a personal trainer, you know, for, you know, kids in high school, middle school, even in the college level. That's if, you know, my career doesn't go the way I, I intended to after uh, uh, football, after college. Great. Caleb, how about you? What is uh, your major and what are some career aspirations uh, with football or even after life after football? Um, I'm a sports management major. And I always told myself when after like my career is over and stuff like that, I was going to be a coach um, because I know growing up, I had a lot of coaches that gave back to my community. And like when you build those relationships with those coaches at such a young age, it's, it's an impact that will last a lifetime. So I just want to get back to my community and coach the kids at a younger age because that can last with them forever. Some kids don't have father figures in their life and stuff like that. So if I can be that type of guy, I'm. No, oh, great. And coach, we've been asking all the head coaches um, within the conference the same thing. Um, you know, what's word, one word, one sentence that comes to mind when you hear the words Heart of America football? Uh, competitive. For sure. You know, there's not an off week at all. <laughs> every week you got to bring it, you know, and, uh, you know, having an 11 game schedule where it's every week is just it's it's a new a new opponent that's come to beat you. And so you don't get you don't get those off weeks. And so um, it's, it's big. Great. 
Well, Caleb Tremat, coach, we uh, really appreciate your time. Uh, thanks so much for being here. It's great to hear from from the student athletes and and uh, coach. Obviously, great to hear from you as well. But we wish you the best of luck this year. And and thanks again. Awesome. Thank thanks you so much.